Do you think it's worth it paying twice as much for less features for a BPS? Well, I'm going to compare Vulture with Hostinger. So follow me to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? So in this case, I've installed two identical websites with the same theme, same plugins, and everything's identical, even using Ubuntu 22.04 and the same BPS manager for both of them, right? So in this case, I have installed the Vulture plan, which has an 8 CPU and has 16 gigabytes of RAM, 350 gigabytes of NVMe storage, and the bandwidth is capped at 8 terabytes. Now, on the other hand, I have installed the Hostinger plan, again, with 8 CPU cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, so twice the RAM, 33 terabytes of bandwidth, which is like four or five times more, and 400 gigabytes of NVMe storage. Both of these are on the AMD Epic processor for the CPU. So they're similar in that sense, but you're getting less features on the Vulture 1. Now, in terms of pricing, let me show you what the Vulture 1 costs. So if I go to deploy a new server and I select the Cloud Compute, which is the shared one, which is going to be a less expensive, and I go over here, it's this plan. So you're going to get 8 gigabytes of CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So half the RAM of the Hostinger 1. And it's $96 a month. But if you add the auto backups, it's $115. Now, the reason I'm including this is because on the Hostinger plan, it does include the backups. But if you remove it, it's going to remove 20 bucks a month, right? So do consider that one. Now, on the Hostinger side, the KVM, KVM8 BPS, it's 20 bucks for a month, the first year, which is drastically lower than what you would pay on Vulture. And the renewal price is $60, which is half, almost half the price, what you would pay on the Vulture BPS with less features. Now, on this one, you do get included the backup and you do get included a snapshot. You get one snapshot. So that means that you can take a snapshot and you can go ahead and delete and create a new one. But you get one of these for free in this plan. On the other hand, on Vulture, that snapshot is going to cost you five cents per gigabyte stored on that snapshot. So if I go over here and I go to snapshots here, you see zero five cents per gigabyte per month. For that snapshot okay so that's additional to what you're going to pay on the bps over here on vulture and that's not included that's an additional so do consider that and when it comes to the bps on the bps manager i've installed both of these one of one of them is the vulture one here it is and the hosting one both have the same open light speed system mysql ubuntu 2204 on both of these semi-identical sites wordpress with woocommerce themes plugins, etc. Both are the same. So here's one of the WordPress sites, Vulture 8 CPU. That's how I named it. And over here, it's the Hostinger 8 CPU. Same plugins, same identical thing. Everything happened the same. So same WooCommerce, same theme. If I go to the main page, I'll show you that. Okay, and let me go to the other one. Same identical page. See, jump one from another, same identical page. When it comes to the speed performance, I've tested these on GTX GT metrics, and you can see this is the Vulture one. I am getting a grade 94 performance and 85 on structure, and it's loading 4.6 seconds fast. Now, be aware that that's super slow for a website, and that's intentional because I didn't install a cache plugin and I didn't install a CDN. That's because I wanted to, this to load slowly so I can have a better reading of the performance test that I ran. So these ran 4.5 to 4.7 seconds on loading time. On the other hand, Hostinger was a tiny bit slower, which is a grade 91 performance and 96 structure. And this one loaded 4.7 seconds. This one varied 4.6 to 4.8 seconds. So there's a 100 to 300 millisecond difference slower from the Vulture BPS. I mean, that's practically nothing to pay twice for the BPS, I definitely think it's not worth it, but I mean, it's up to you if you want to pay more and if those milliseconds are worth it, worth it to you. Now, be aware that this one has the 32 gigabytes of RAM and the other one has 16 gigabytes of RAM. So once you install several websites and run these websites, PHP sites, etc., that are RAM intensive, you're going to have 32 gigabytes over here and 16 gigabytes on the Vulture one. And then you're going to have some drastic changes in speed terms. OK, now, if you ask me, I definitely think it's worth grabbing the Hostinger plan if you want to grab a high performing VPS. 
Now, there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you since this video is sponsored from Hostinger, but in no means I am obligated to say or do anything that I shouldn't or do. So I have all the liberty to run these tests. Now, I want to show you how to apply that coupon code so you can have a lower price than what this has already. So in this section, we're going to be asked how many months do we want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months, lowest price, and you're good to go for 24 months. So down here, you're going to see that the price is $479. But if you add my coupon code, which is Staffmaster and apply it, the price is going to drop to $131.78. So it's even lower than what you're going to pay on Vulture drastically by a whole lot. So if you ask me personally, if do I think it's worth paying that much on Vulture for practically less features and paying twice? I mean, I think that's not worth it. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Both of these are on the, on the AMD Epic CPU. Now, when it comes to the Hostinger, they are transparent on the CPU. And when it comes to Vulture, they don't provide the information because they say it's for security reasons. I mean, that's what they say, but you know, they don't provide that information. Both have the SSD NVMe storage, which is really good. And I think you should go, you should go for the Hostinger if you want one of these BPS. But if you're good to go with Vulture, go ahead and grab it. But if you're good to go, <clears throat> I definitely think it's worth grabbing the Hostinger BPS instead of the Vulture one. But if you find that that does not, <clears throat> I definitely don't think it's worth paying twice as much for similar features. But if you think otherwise, do let me know in the comments. And if you want me to compare these to other BPS providers, do let me know. And that's a wrap.